I'm still handing you my God, and I listen to that and I'm just keeping my mind and so it's like, is that my face or is that gold fish? That's the point five for each of us. Yeah, there could be fish right up there, huh? Eh? This is so interesting. I've never walked through anything like this before. Fly rods. Fly rods. Like, <laughs> what a cool thing. What a cool thing. It's uh, definitely fall season. The colors are kicking in real good. It's a brisk, let's see, 33 degrees outside. I think I'm up uh, probably in the six to 7,000 foot elevation. Came to this area earlier in the summer last year with the dogs, with Addie and Duke, and we had a blast. It was just beautiful out. The water was perfect. I was catching some nice big tiger trout on the fly on the top fishing with like dry fly stimulators and hoppers and stuff like that. And I came here with high hopes yesterday, went back to that same area and just got skunked, absolutely nothing. Actually, I did catch one brown trout on, on the top, but you know, it was a small fish. First fish of the day, nice little brown. Nice little brown. So Esther and I came back for the afternoon evening session and that was a different story. We fished this one hole, we saw some trout sipping, we couldn't get him to take her fly, it was a little discouraging and I was like, hey, I, I, there's one hole upstream right below this spillway, some good cover and I saw some brown trout in there earlier in the day and uh, so we came back, she approached the hole just right came from downstream with an upstream cast, used, used two little nymphs, and bam, man, that brown trout hit hard. Play a little bit, you're good. Just give him, just let him play a little bit. Lift, 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 lift. Oh my God! Esther, can look at that brown you just caught. Forgive my language. Holy shit, that's a beauty. I'm sorry, I'm just having a moment right now. You just caught that <laughs> What happened to that reel? It fell off. All right, Esther, oh, wow. look at your fish. That's oh, a- this is my first This is a- Oh my God. I was so surprised, I think I screamed. And I know I was absolutely out of control. I was- Overly anxious to say the least. It was an exciting moment. Yeah, I want to get you on video. So it's going, but you okay. need to put the poles down. down. Yeah. That's amazing. I've never caught a brown like that on a on a nymph before. It's not that big. Yeah. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ready? Okay. Just hold them up. Oh, beautiful brown trout. I see, you know, nose down in the water. And he's on his own. He'll just, he's going to go on his own. And there he goes. Right back in the grass. Yes. That's a nice brown right there. That was my first brown trout. Yes. Man, and first trout. Hey, what's uh? Well, tell me what you did just there. What happened? I just caught a brown trout. Yeah, how'd you do it? Uh, with the fly. Uh, I had two nymphs. Yeah, and you were just stripping it in naturally. So I just cast 
accident and started stripping and it was while I was stripping that I felt him hit and it was just like peace. And then as soon as he hit he jumped. He did. I know it was amazing. Watching him come out of the water. You you played him just right. That that I I, uh, I kind of freaked, so that's my bad. <laughs> you did. It was funny though. I said Esther, make another cast. So she makes another cast. And next thing, boom! Big brown trout hit those same flies. And this one was bigger. It was twice the size as the first fish. You're doing awesome. He's bigger than the other one, us. Let him go. He's nice and easy. Keep him out of the grass if you can. You're doing awesome. I can't see him in the light. Okay. Okay. I can't see him. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Is he still on? Yep, he's still on, nice and easy. And yours truly, I missed the net. The fish was right there and he broke off right when I had the net underneath him. I missed him by an inch. He got off and I missed him, my bad. There's a bunch of tall grass in the bottom of this hole and they'll just dig. They'll get their head and they'll just dig into that grass and they'll tuck up and it puts that much extra tension on your line. It can make it really challenging. So we've got to keep the fish up. Somehow we got to keep his head up out of the grass closer to the top. We got him right there. He was 90%, but I don't really count it as a trout. If we don't get him in the net, if he breaks off or in this case, the knots held, so he didn't break the fly, he just popped, you know? Esther, get back out there, throw another cast. Bam, fish on. This one we're gonna get in the net. He's the same size as the last, oh, that's a big one. All right, we're gonna get this one in the net. Let him go a little bit. It's a nice brown ass. Lift a little bit. Okay, he's tangled in the grass. Yep, let him go a little bit. Lift a bit. Let him, yep, you just, he's just, just, he's gonna be stuck in the grass for a sec. I still got it, you still got him. Nice. I lost my shoe, I'm gonna grab my shoe. You're doing great. You're doing awesome, we're gonna get him. Yeah, that's a nice, nice one right there. Woo, the second one in the net, baby. How's that feel? Ass, you got a second one in the net. Keep him in the water. I'm gonna try to get my shoe under control here somehow. Uh, I think I'll just throw this to the shore. Ass, can you watch where this is going with me so we have a verification? Okay. okay. Do you want to hold these soon? I'll get that for yeah. you. Get that out of your mouth. Do you mind if I do this? Or? Go for it. Yeah, get them on camera. Holy sh! This is a beautiful brown trout that Esther just Esther just caught. Look at that fish, ass. This is your second brown, and there he goes. There he goes. Bye, well done. Oh. Oh, that was amazing! We got three! There could be a fourth if we get really good. Come on, Joel, you got this. I know how to fish like this. I'm doing it just, just right. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I got a baby! <laughs> you see that shit? <laughs> I'm gonna scoot right by him. He was probably fishing. Let's hope nobody else is down here fishing this hole because I really, really want to put one more in. So it was an awesome day. 
ended up getting four brown trout. Three of them were netted. The fourth one, we just missed by an inch. I'm back. It's 30 degrees. It's a brisk Wednesday morning. I'm gonna fish this hole, see what we can do. I have high hopes. I think we can get one more brown trout in the net here before the end of the trip. So fish and fly with Gus, here we go.